So our today's topic is healing any kind of disease through meditation. That is possible. Okay, right. So friends, here's the thing we need to understand. What is physical body? What is energy body? Right? We have so many bodies, in fact. So we were keep discussing in the previous class also. So you are also aware of that. We are the combination of seven bodies. We come, we come from the higher worlds. In the physical world, in the physical world, only the uh, physical body and etheric body they get prepared here. All other bodies will be brought from the higher worlds. Okay. So that's what we you know very much. So in the, the especially the physical body. So physical body, if you take, so this is the body where you get a lot of diseases, isn't it? So you get the diseases to the physical body, not to the etheric body, not to the any other body. Because all other bodies are made up of energy. So, and even in fact, the physical body is also made up of energy, but it is manifested in the form of the matter. Okay. So we are the we are the matter, of course, it is which is manifested from the energy, in fact. Okay. And in fact, so the entire uh, as a physical body we appear, but we are also having the energy and vibrations. All the atom level, if you go into the atoms, into the atoms and molecules. So all what you found is, is only vibration. You don't you, you only find like frequencies, vibrations, and the kind of a the waves, which you know, the, like energy waves. So everything is in a vibration and some frequency. So that's how the entire the cell level, if you if you travel inside the cell level, in the, inside the atom level, this is what we notice, my dear friends. Okay. So now so how do we get the you know, physical disease? Okay. So some of you can uh, try to answer. So why do we get the physical disease? Okay, there may be any reasons, but let's understand from you. So how do we get a physical disease in the physical body? What are the reasons for it? Okay, for any disease, we can answer. You can try to answer whatever you know. Okay, so let's understand more. Sir, why, do, uh, this, why do we get a yeah. physical body? Why do we get the disease? Basically, what are the reasons? Yes. We we uh, got in uh, the, having disease through our uh, you know uh, means ki not a proper diet and foods we take and proper rest and not taking no, no proper rest no proper rest no proper food, food. Uh, mm -hmm. physical body so you get a disease right yes okay. yes so this is one of the answer okay next I want to see so much of stress. Yeah, stress. So much of stress, tensions. Okay, fine. So that this is uh, this is the repay of our last previous uh, karmas. life karma. Karmas. That means you went to the spiritual side. Yes, good. Okay, <laughs> right. Unhealthy lifestyle, unhealthy food. Okay. I, mm, yeah. Right. And all the bad habits, or even this, um, this life karma also. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, one reason is to, you know, that is the turning point of our life through disease. Sometimes some people just uh, change their life towards spiritual, and so that is the from universe. It is the like uh, for betterment of or improvement of the human uh, one so, one way right so it is a part of soul evolution so everybody will suffer and then the from suffering also you will be learning and growing okay that's uh, that's the thing it happens actually so yes understood and uh, yes some more answers Some sometime it is black magic also <laughs> that's all uh, <laughs> Common thing, something you know, they do all this uh, basing on the beliefs and all it works. Okay, right. Yes. Any other answers? Sir, mostly everyone is after money, earning money. They don't care about their health. So that that causes the disease. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Sometimes through our mind only disease uh, comes, like the way we think, our body start reacting that way. So most of the disease is from the mind. Okay, okay, right. So that's a good point. It's a good pointer. Okay, yes, definitely. Mm. Okay, 
طيب friends let's understand so one thing we one thing we need to understand is we always think that this physical body as if we see that you know we are only the just flesh and bones flesh and bones and then the all the organs and just it's arranged like a one machine so most of the modern systems modern scientists they consider this as a one particular machine like a bio machine okay bio bio machine basically so biological machine you can say but like if you see any other you know one motor vehicle or a computer or like that you know so it also got different parts if you assemble all the parts and put a software it starts working okay if any problem in one particular hardware so you have to replace that hardware and then it starts working again okay similarly what happened so almost from you know so, so from long number of years like you know the modern science started started developing right maybe so near about uh, 2000 years or so so various scientists various uh, from the uh, european countries western countries they started uh, working on many things like uh, the age the right from the newton uh, or the you know like um, so albert einstein and before that who are the other other scientists right who all worked on this so they keep proposing so many things and they keep proposing basing on basically they keep proposing on the the kind of a uh you can say like a machinery concept like you know it's all mission so man is also mission for them man is also mission so they won't consider it as like you know it's not a, it's not a conscious mission so they don't know that it's a conscious mission they know that only it's a bio biological mission but there's a huge difference between the conscious mission and the biological mission so we say that we are sanatan dharma our own, you know, like Indian philosophy, very, very carefully and, you know, throughout the scriptures, Upanishads, Vedas, everywhere. So we always stress that we are conscious beings. We are not the biological mission. The biological, what you are see, looking at here today, it is today here, tomorrow it will vanish. But one thing is not going to, it's not going to be destroyed. It is always present. What exactly it is? It's a consciousness. We all we all very well know by this time. We all understood. So various classes we studied that, isn't it? So that's why friends, what happens is so the perspective of the Western countries, the perspective of Eastern countries, totally different. Okay, it's totally different. So who has developed all this? You know the medical system, all this medical system of today's the modern systems are developed by Western people. So the Western people, whatever the Newton proposed. What the, all other scientists proposed, all they, they proposed, you know, the any even the medical medical systems, what they developed, they all thought or they all developed the system such a way they treated a physical body is also a mission, like a bio, biological mission. So beyond beyond that, you know, like a biological mission is what happened for them, hand is one part, our eyes are one part, nose is one part, like you know, brain is one part, everything is a different part for them. They won't see more than a blood and, you know, uh, inside nose and bleds, uh, blood and all the part. So that much only they see. They won't go nothing beyond that. Okay. Nothing beyond that. So that is the reason what happened. Whatever they developed, whatever they developed. So in order to cure the diseases, no way it is useful. The reason is they can't cure the disease. Basically what they do, they try to control some kind of a chemicals. You know? They inject the chemicals. They try to control or they try to control the nervous system. Uh, they control the they try to control some kind of a you know the organs all these things then they may provide some relief or something but they will not be able to the, go to the extent where the root cause for the root cause for the disease the root cause for the disease is somewhere else okay and the pain what you get is in different different region of the body so likewise friends what happens now so they consider the body as a biological mission but so the fact is the fact is so where from the disease comes so as you told, so mind is one thing, right? So what I try to refer here is, the first thing is we are a consciousness, the pure consciousness, isn't it? So the consciousness enters into one body in the form of something called mind. The mind is the mind which is a limited version within us available is nothing but a consciousness. Okay. So anything change, anything you change, any small change you do in the consciousness, it is going to affect the entire physical body. My difference. So that is the great, that is, that is the 
power, that is power of consciousness. Anything, a small change introduced in the consciousness, it means, so consciousness means, you, you, you should try to understand the consciousness itself will generate the thoughts, okay? Thoughts, whatever is originated, and the mind, you can say mind. Again, you know, the, conscious, the consciousness, the projection of mind, projection of consciousness is a mind. The limited version of consciousness is a mind, right? Mind is also in the combination of all the thoughts. So likewise, all, all are synonymous. There are no difference, much differences there. But whatever generated out of the, you know, out of the consciousness, the thoughts, whatever. So one of, whenever, for example, I have a fearful thought in my mind, okay? So what will happen, you know, the moment you have a fearful thought, so the, the moment you have a fearful thought, it starts generating, you know, so the kind of a, what will happen, the fearful thought runs in the, from the consciousness generated, it runs to the physical body, right? So the moment it happens, the brain, the first part is brain which gets affected. So that, that gets connected to the, the, whatever the thought you, the thought you make in your mind, of course, comes from the consciousness, but so definitely it is going to be. Uh, influencing the mind, especially the brain, the, the brain part is the one which controls the entire organs, isn't it? Through the through the blood, it controls the entire organs in the physical body. Okay, so when the brain is able to control by sending signals, orders to different glands and different uh, organs, even to the cellular level, it reaches to the cellular level also. So that is where. So what happens now is. So all things, all the diseases, whatever, whatever you see, the diseases comes to the physical body. It is all because of environment. What is the environment you are maintaining? What is the environment? It means environment, what I say, what I refer the name is, again, it is nothing but a consciousness environment. What is the consciousness environment which you are maintaining by yourself? Okay. What is the kind of environment you are? So if you are in the fearful environment, or you are, if you are releasing a thought or whatever, that is a happy environment, right? One is love and loving environment or happy environment. Other one is a fearful environment or a, the kind of a frightening situation, right? So when these two things you observe, first thing, okay? When there is a frightening or a fearful environment which you have in the consciousness, if it starts happening, starts happening, like in you know, it's a thought only, it starts happening in the consciousness in that environment, the moment it happens, what happens? The brains try to generate something called stress hormones. It generates the stress hormones. It sends the stress hormones through the blood. Okay. It sends the, all the stress hormones through the blood. It, it gets into the blood and it goes to the different organs, my dear friends. So now the body gets prepared to respond to that immediately. Okay. The moment the signals are sent, right? Okay, from the brain, then what will happen? Your body starts respond to respond to it, so it will your body will reply to it, and then in the fighting situation, what happen? It may flee away, or it may so it, it will vacate that place. So the, let's say let's say some kind of a danger is there. So moment you are you get a thought and your brain send the signals, then your body will react to it. The body will take a physical moment at that time. So that's how, so there is a interconnectivity so much, my dear friends. The interconnectivity is used, the interconnectivity is still, it, it goes into a cellular level. So other thing you need to understand is, whatever your brain, they send the signals, your brain sends the currents or the signals through the blood, through the blood it travels, it reaches to the every organ, so every organ will receive those signals, those messages. Let me tell you, the cell, whatever the cell you have, so the every cell, okay, every cell, uh, approximately, so the cell will have their own receptors, their own antennas, basically. Okay, try to understand this. So we also need to understand every cell will act, you know, independently is an individual entity, my dear friends. So how many cells we have in the body? Can anybody answer? How many cells we have in the body, physical body? Uh, 120 trillion cells, sir. Okay, fine. Right. So, friends, what will happen here? So, try to understand mm -hmm. the amount, number of number of cells what we have. Google so, Google. especially the human body is made up of the building blocks are cells, isn't it? Oh, no. to try to the the building see. blocks are the cells. So, try to understand the, all the building blocks. The building blocks of the uh, building blocks are the cells. The cell, every cell will act as an individual entity. Or I can say, every cell will, will act like a one individual 
body, like an human body, right? So human body, whatever you have, you have mind, you have excretion system, you have the digestive system, you have the breathing, breathing system, everything is there within our body. Similarly, I'm telling you, the, your cell also is a miniature human being. Each cell will act as a, like a, one independent human being. So that is why what we say in the previous class also, we try to explain you. The human body is a colony of 120 trillion cells. Or you can say human body is a colony. Colony of the 120, 120, the miniature human beings. In miniature human beings, we can say that. Okay. The reason is every cell has got its own intelligence. Do not think that, you know, cell level, nothing is there. Inside the cell only, your DNA, RNA, all these are existing. Okay. The cell will carry the most useful and the, you know, highly, uh, highly, highly, you can say that high, the high amount of mystery within every cell. So, in every cell, within your DNA, the entire information is stored already about your previous lives, about the current life, what you are doing, and the, all about the previous lives is also stored at the level of DNA. So, whether you believe it or not, that's why I'm telling you, every cell of your physical body act like a, a miniature, miniature form of a human being. It has got its own uh, excretion system. It has got its own digestive system. It has got its own the respiratory system. Everything it has got within the each and every cell, my dear friends. So, that is why it is so essential that what kind of environment you maintain. Now, so for all these 120 trillion cells is a colony, right? So, it is a colony of 120 trillion cells uh, is make, making a one physical body or one human body, isn't it? So, now when it is made, who is the government, who is the head, head of this all 120 trillion cells? Or, so <clears throat> who, who is governing the entire, entire 120 trillion cells? Our number of trillion cells of uh, uh, the cells which are existing on physical body, the government is mind. The mind is the government. Okay, mind govern the entire all the cells, my dear friends. So that means from the mind, whatever the signals you send, okay, if it is a, a fearful signal or a loving signal or a the a kind of a you know friendship signal or you know patience, whatever whatever the kind of signal you send from the mind. That, that is going to control the entire cells, my dear friends. So now, the previous uh, previous days, you might have studied. So, like, you know, some of the attitudes, some of the behaviors comes from the parents to the, you know, your uh, uh, children, isn't it? So, of course, because of the genes, you know, we used to say that genes are going to come, pass from the parents to the uh, children. Yes, definitely. But only thing is, the another thing you need to understand is, out of 100% of these cells, whatever the cells I'm talking, Right? In this, the humans are human cells are only 20%. All other cells are actually, they are all gem cells, my dear friends. It means the physical body, what we say, I am a physical body, it is my own physical body, we say that. But so, in fact, the cells which are divided from your father and mother came to you is only 20% quantity. Remaining 80% quantity, it belongs to the gem cells. Try to understand. So, it means it is not that you know you are you are the owner of this body. You are never the owner of the body, my dear friends. So you are not the owner. The owner is actually gems. So completely your entire body is run with the amount of gems everywhere. Are the excretion place, respiratory respiration place, the digestion place, and every place, whatever the place you take inside the physical, physical body, every place, the amount of gem cells is going to play the important role. That's what we understood. In the digestion system, there is something called the positive bacteria, isn't it? The positive bacteria is responsible for the digestion and the proper digestion, proper excretion, everything it takes place. Without them, so you are going to, you are, you are, the immunity levels or immunity power, it will come down like anything. Heavily it will come down without the presence of the, those germ cells, my dear friends. So like that, all the germs, whatever I'm talking to you, I'm trying to say that 80% germs are, 80% cells of your physical body out of 120 trillion cells you are talking about. So they all belong to gem cells. Only 20% only belong to you. From the mother and father what you got. So now you tell me who is the owner of the body? Do you think uh, you are the owner of the body? No way. Okay. But <laughs> only one thing is either the gem cells and your, your own cells, whatever total 120 trillion cells or whatever, this is for controlling of all these cells. The behavior and the controlling of the, all these cells will be so your own mind. Your mind is a government. 
okay your mind is a government all these the individual cells of a physical body will be controlled very much by the mind that's called our own mind environment my dear friends the mind environment what are the signals it sends right straight away the you know the signals will pass through the blood and then reaches to every organ so once it reaches to organ it's as good as reaching to the every cell of the, the individual cell of the physical body so when it comes to the physical body when it comes to the individual cell what will happen it starts reacting it is start reacting as per that so now what i try to say is if at all you think that you know genes is going to control the human being it is not so my dear friends so what it controls is your own mind controls everything i can tell you one thing if you change your consciousness if you change the thoughts or whatever environment within your consciousness if you start changing the entire the entire the environment in the with respect, with respect to the physical cells will also start changing just remember this point so if you start changing the environment your mind environment the entire the behavior of the cells of the physical body also start changing so now here is the thing comes like you know healing or a disease curing how does it comes my dear friends so when you do meditation what happens when you don't do meditation what happens so these were the difference you know the how the curing of a particular disease takes place is is very simple only thing is your mind has to be your mind has to be prepared your mind has to be prepared your mind should get ready for that you know the kind of beliefs what you get so for example i have a belief that if i visit a doctor what i think so the doctor is a very good doctor if i have a belief i am telling you if i have a belief on the on the doctor the doctor is very good whatever he gives a medicine it works for me my disease will be cured of course it will be cured whether he gives a what also it will give cure you don't need to give medicine also let me tell you if you have a belief so now who is curing is the doctor is curing the disease or is the medicine is curing the disease no your your own mind your own mind the mind your own mind and environment it is going to cure your disease by yourself nobody else is curing my dear friends so this is how what i am trying to say is this of course it is it's also called as a placebo effect whatever it may be all are one of the same placebo effect and whatever i am saying the biology of belief so there is a book very book very good book so please read that book the biology of the biology of belief written by bruce lipton the wonderful book is a great scientist great biological biological scientist he worked in medical college he taught for a more of a period of 20 years in a medical college in adwa this was modern so called modern medicines all these things but he is not happy of course he came out and then started his own research about the genes and dna chromosomes and the cell all the cell environment everything he studied so nicely the book is very good so please read that book so it is wonderful book it will give you much more the depth of uh, what we what we are discussing today so you can definitely understand more and more friends so now so one, what i'm trying to say here is so to cure your disease what exactly required he need to change the environment what environment see for for example if i got a one uh, let's say one stomach ache i got right or i got a headache i got a back pain so what what is the environment in my mind i always have environment that what environment i have i have a pain i am suffering you know this is the environment this is the with this is the kind of environment within your mind you are living you are already living with the disease so this is the environment you are carrying isn't it so now your cells are communicated exactly the same your cells are communicated to the same extent now they also behave in the similar fashion so when they are communicated to that kind of environmental signals are gone to the cells the cells understand receive it and then they behave in the similar manner the reason, reason is your government has already ordered your government that is your mind mind is a government right so it has got already ordered behave like this see for example you are we are living in a society if government orders uh, will you uh, obey or will you rule out it you have to obey is it if you don't obey what happen you will be fined otherwise you will be jailed or whatever the repercussions are different isn't it similarly what happen here is the government the mind is the government which is going to control all the cells the cells are communicated that you have a disease in the physical body you are suffering in the stomach you are suffering in the suffering in the back ache that's all that's all the thing what happens is your cells are your cells are fully advised your cells are fully controlled and communicated so they behave in the same way the disease will be with you and you will be suffering from that that particular disease for so long time until you know you get a belief on a particular doctor you visited him 
and he has given some medicine or if he didn't give any medicine also if you tell a few words that you know you are fine you have no problem you will be you will be cured so do a small change in the you know your lifestyle do a small change in the food something you will tell and then he will send you back maybe he give a small medicine and send you back but what will happen after coming home you know i feel like relief okay i have some you know my back back pain is little less so you say like this isn't it so what 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 is the difference made now where does the where does the difference comes difference comes from your own mind that is the government for managing all the controlling all the cells of the physical body my dear friends so to bring this the change you know the shift in the consciousness the, the shift in the environment the to bring the greater transformation the greater you know the kind of a uh, you can say like a greater changes in this environment your mind environment who is going to do that so maybe to the extent a, a person you say for example for example i am a psychologist i can coach you i can try to change your mind environment if i if i am a psychiatrist, psychiatrist i try i try to change to a certain extent by teaching you by coaching you by guiding you i may change your mind environment to the extent isn't it so i can try that definitely so in that case what happen if you receive my instructions and if you change your thoughts thoughts means basically in the consciousness there are changes are going to take place so when you change your thoughts in the consciousness that means there is a change in environment of mind environment takes place the moment it takes place your your disease is going to heal who is healing healing is done by you your own brain your own your own physical system your own human body is healing you none other than the your own human body is healing any of the disease of your if your physical body my dear friends so this is a fact we need to understand it's called healing self healing it's called self healing it's all heal without medicine heal with your with the, with the help of your own mind all this happens my dear friends now so meditation if you bring the meditation to you know the meditation is going to play vital role to shift the entire consciousness to bring to bring entire you know the 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 height of consciousness the level of consciousness all that will be you know the kind of level of consciousness the height of consciousness will be they come perfectly restored within you within you by meditation 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 can do the job so nicely such a way that you don't need any person from outside you don't need any coach you don't need a psychologist no doctor no no other persons are required what exactly can be done through meditation is the moment you take a breath and go inside right when you go inside by taking the breath what will happen is so you are you are making your mind empty then what 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 exactly happened is you are you are filled with lot of lot of energy basically lot of cosmic energy so the lot of cosmic energy is filled at the same time mind got empty and then so whatever your fearful thought whatever all other whatever the thought thoughts it may be all thoughts got empty now so the moment it got empty what happened the change in environment takes place in the in your in your own consciousness the change in environment the mind mind environment itself gets modified such a way that now so the kind of a positive feeling starts the kind of more energy your more cosmic energy starts flowing throughout the body so then what will happen the change in environment taken place and the disease also gets cured automatically no no need of any help from the outside my dear friends so that's why the meditation has got on the physical physicality level if you see physical level is going to what it's going to do is it is going to you know it's going to make your own consciousness your own consciousness you know it brings into the limelight such a way that you have a consciousness of course but meditation through meditation what happens is you are going to switch up the mind see what is what is stopping in order to get the consciousness connectivity to your physical body what is stopping who is stopping your own mind your own mind in your own basically see your mind your mind what it is telling i have a cancer in my body i have cancer in my body always you know it's repetitive so it is going on repeating and it is never left the idea it is never leaving that you know the thought so what happened now the consciousness though consciousness is so powerful we say that consciousness is infinite powerful and the soul consciousness is infinite capacity everything we say but why the disease is not going within you who is stopping it your own mind environment already you are stuck with you know the cancer 
you have got lot of pain within your physical body and your mind will never agree that you know you have uh, you have no problem so it will be passed away and you will be able to recover so these kind of instructions are these kind of you know the signals no way you are able to pass to your physical body and these kind of signals are not going to the basically to all the cells of the body definitely there is no cure ultimately it, it get worse and slowly slowly it gets worse and then the physical body the i mean the soul consciousness cannot fit into this body where it is unhealthy body and there is no question of you know so they i mean the your cells are basically your cells are not able to be controlled by your mind environment mind environment is controlling always in a negative manner always it is sending negative signals so suppose for example i said i already told you when there is a stress in the, in the inside the mind what happens stress hormones release when there is a happiness inside the mind what happen happy hormones will be released what are the happy hormones dopamine oxytocin and you know this kind of so many hormones are there so these are the hormones will be released into your physical body basically because your mind is in happy condition so likewise the brain especially produces the chemicals depends upon your thought what is your thought what whether it is negative or positive or what kind of thought you are maintaining in the consciousness that link to the brain the brain start producing those chemicals those chemicals so that's why i'm telling you the brain or the entire human body if you look at it it is actually the entire universe whatever you see outside chemical chemical factories or a food factories or a protein factory whatever you see all outside many many uh, different uh, kind of uh, setups right all the setup is there within our physical body my dear friends that is why swam vivekananda says the whole universe is within your uh, within your own system you don't need to search, search for outside anything that's what he says what is the meaning of it that means the entire universe whatever you say whatever you see outside everything is available in the miniature form within our physical body so that is why so what we need to understand is friends now today i would like to bring a point that your body is not a dumb your body is having highest intelligence only thing is you are not able to notice you are not able to understand you are under, underestimating it okay but otherwise your physical body itself is a intelligent machine try to understand this so okay so when you understand that it's intelligent machine so what you need to do is you have to you have to carefully you have to send the signals from where you have to send the signals from your mind that means from the consciousness the mind the whatever the mind is working so mind has to send the proper thoughts the proper signals has to be communicate to the brain the brain starts producing the proper chemicals then your your disease will be cured automatically so that means what we need to do now is everything whatever the change you have to do whatever the correction has to be done is at the level of consciousness it means the consciousness has to be connected to your physical body without any interruption and without any negative thoughts in between that means without any mind the mind should not be present mind should be switched off so how it is possible if mind is taken out that means a negative thought in the mind right so it has to be taken out what should i do i should switch off the mind if i keep that mind as it is my disease cannot be cured at any cost even the god comes down and you know give you the energy it doesn't solve my friends so how you how it is going to be solved you have to solve yourself that is the mechanism provided in the physical body already by god or by, by our own creator our own creator what he has done he has provided everything within your physical body to cure every disease whatever you get so that is why many of the times we used to say we create our own reality nobody else is responsible for our own create our own reality the current switch current situation with which you are living in the physical world is nowhere nobody is responsible other than you the reason the reason being you have you have country you have, you have complete control on your life so if you have complete control on your mind and uh, that means if you are if you are able to control your mind if you become a master of your mind through meditation you can control it well which start has to be made what kind of environment i have to maintain i should maintain the miraculous environment negative environment or a positive environment so all that is a choice it's a choice of you it's not a choice of not me choice of the god no it's not a choice of god it's a choice of yourself you need to choose what you wanted and maintain it maintain it so that it controls that is the government government of your body mind is a government of physical body so then it very it very well control all the you know the so called all the the cells which is within your body so what will happen friends i already told you every second every second about 10 crores of cells will be 
you know they'll be destroyed and the new cells will be created so that is that is the that is the intelligence of the physical body my dear friends you can understand what is the, the kind of intelligence so what will happen is so when your environment in your you know in your mind if it is so positive this takes place very nicely if your environment within within your mind the main mind environment if it is positive or miraculous this uh, the creation and destruction of all these cells every second is going to take place properly if at all any alteration or if at all any destruction environment or a dreadful environment or a dangerous environment if you maintain the physical in the in the in, the, in your mind in the in your conscious level the immediately it is going to affect such a way that the cells which are dying the new cells which are born right so that will be imbalance the moment the imbalance takes place the disease starts happening the disease starts happening so that's how you get all the diseases my dear friends now who has to restore this who has to control this who has to take into your hand definitely you only have to do this so how do you do this because you have, you have gone out of control it means the control is not there that means you have no control on your mind mind is making hell number of thoughts all the hell of the thoughts is making it is not it doesn't have any control that means you as a consciousness you lost your control now how do you get the how do you regain the control how do you make your so how do you make sure that you maintain the proper environment in your mind change in the environment the positive environment miraculous environment if you maintain it so no disease will come to you if any disease comes also it will be cured only thing is your belief has to change so the moment the belief is belief is going to change this is going to change the environment that is going to affect the brain the brain is going to cure or non cure whatever it takes the actions accordingly so that is why so we have to, what we have to do is take the help of meditation switch up your mind you know switch up your mind take away all the negative thoughts and make it zero right bring it to zero then what will happen your consciousness flows uh, you know your consciousness the consciousness is get connected to physical body and the physical body will get cured of all the diseases automatically i don't need i don't i don't need to name any disease particular disease this is the disease name it will be cured like this and diabetes will be cured like this bp will be cured like this and you know my cancer this cancer will be cured like this i don't want to name like that for me what is important is the environment is the environment the kind of environment what you maintain in your mind so that is most important for me that is the critical parameter how you are going to do that okay so whether you are able to do consciously yes please do it for example some people they believe one thing so they believe one thing means they maintain it properly they don't get disturbed again so i so the moment see for example some of the people so let's say i give one more example for you so for example the two people are exposed to the same situation okay so two people they are exposed to the same situation but one will be getting the disease other will not be getting the disease you try to understand so what is the what is what is the difference made in between these two people so one is the one person has got a different environment in the mind so other person has got a different environment in the mind okay so but what will happen in the modern medical system both are treated with the same medicine if you go if you take these two people to the doctor what does he do so you you got a headache and the other person also got a headache for example that's another example i'm giving you so the moment if you go to the doctor so you won't consider what environment you have here the other person what environment he has got in the mind he never bothered about it isn't it he will be giving single medicine to both the people and said then what does it happen let me tell you maybe it's a pain killer or whatever it may temporarily give a small relief but the the root cause of the disease is not gone the reason is this person is in mind environment is got disturbed the other person may be by eating a non you know the non holistic food or whatever you know the uh, the uh, fast food or a, the you know the kind of food what he has eaten because of that he might have got a headache so now both are not both are both are different so the mind environment of one person the mind environment of other person both are different both are not same but this particular way of behavior way of understanding of a human being is not known to the the current current you know the current so called the modern system modern system did it, did not venture into this kind of understanding all the modern medical system he never entered into this kind of you know study or a research towards this the reason is so the moment they go into this what will happen is so most probably the human human being a human being himself will become a independent person the human being will become a independent person 
he doesn't need anybody help he doesn't need any doctor friends so mostly what happens is the modern medical system didn't venture into the understanding of the consciousness consciousness of the person so they didn't venture into it they always ventured into only understanding we are a, the entity we are an entity we are a mission then all the parts are studied separately all the, all the parts are you know given the cure, cure or whatever medicines and all the medical care will be given to each and every part each and every part of the physical body so that is not the way that is not the holistic approach the holistic approach is you have to you have to care about not only physical body beyond that whatever the mind and environment so and the, you, you can say like a consciousness the consciousness has to consciousness has to be brought into picture brought into consideration the moment they brought the consciousness into consideration what will happen is no human being will be suffering the entire the planet earth everybody will, everybody will become so happy and there is no question of suffering at all they will understand basically they will understand where is the problem how the problems are erupted into the physical body from where it is coming so they will understand all that then they correct in the conscious level the conscious level itself they correct and then every problem will be resolved because this is kept hi kept hiding or is kept hidden by the modern medical system they go on treat the physical body treating that every part of the body is a organ every part of the body is separate part of the body they consider they never consider there is something which is going to control each and every physical body every body every part of the body is controlled by something else so that is mind environment so this this part this, this linkage this particular connectivity is unknown or is known but hiding it hidden so friends for the sake of the monetary gains so they, they, they are pharmaceutical industries all these big 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 wigs and all they don't want to come they don't want to bring this into picture if they bring in the moment they bring it to picture you don't need any medicine just change the environment body will be repaired then what kind of medicine what medicine you wanted now tell me no medicine is required right so now so they, if, if they bring this this connectivity if they sow properly and they sow a solution that okay do meditation do some healing do some chanting do some you know the positive talk to some positive people get some positive in you know, a positive vibrations okay and go and uh, spend time with the friends go on time, uh, you know whenever you are disturbed your mind environment disturbed go and spend your time you know go to the river go to the nature go to the forest if i give this kind of suggestions the moment this uh, environment got changed disease is appeared this is gone then where is the money where is the huge crores of billions of rupees isn't it so that is why so we need to understand whatever modern system is doing let us not go with it let's not be confused also friends so now what happened is slowly slowly of course the quantum science entered into it the quantum physics entered into it so it is understood now it is understood such, such a way that there is something called consciousness which is going to control the entire you know entire all the cells will be properly controlled by your own consciousness every cell will listen to the communication between the consciousness and to the cell level every cell will receive the signals from the of course through the brain only so through the brain it, it is actually converted into chemicals and sent to the each and every cell or the cell or level cell level it will control and the of course not only the chemicals all this comes into the cell but also the intelligence and information also will be received by the each and every cell friends cell has got a mind cell has got a consciousness the connectivity between the direct you know the overall overall consciousness of your own mind okay or you can say mind is a, the part of consciousness which is there within you so which is very much connected to each and every cell cell also behaves the similar as similar to as a human being so when it is as, as good as human being it takes care of everything my friends so that is why if you give a proper things to the cell proper environment proper nutrients proper food proper water proper oxygen then what happens your health is within your hands why do you go to doctor what is the need so why you are why you are going begging him there is no nothing can be done by anybody everything can be done by your own mind environment your own the lifestyle what you lead so that is enough for you know that is enough in order to preserve your health in order to cure your health in order to cure any kind of disease my, my dear friends it doesn't matter what is the name of the disease I, i don't i don't mind you tell any name i don't mind i don't need to know what disease you are suffering i only need to know what kind of mind environment you have what kind of con the con in the consciousness what kind of the environment you are maintaining are you able to access the consciousness your mind is allowing to allowing to enter into the the positive consciousness or the negative consciousness 
right so that is that matters a lot so that is why so always remember one thing if you approach meditation if you do meditation regularly what it happens is it tries to maintain the positive consciousness or you know the pure consciousness within within your system within your human, human body then what will happen is everything else will be taken care your entire physical body will be always healthy my dear friends that is why yogis rishis you observe how much what the kind of health they have all the yogis and rishis they live number of years 200 years 500 years 300 years isn't it so many so many long years how they how they are living in the same physical body what we have physical body they also have the same physical body how they are how they are able to live the reason is their consciousness is done to their consciousness the highest consciousness the high state of consciousness the positive state of consciousness is always maintained by them so that the cells also healthy the cells are always as i told you the cells you know 10 crore cells will be always replaced then how does it matter for you you can easily replace right if your consciousness is great what happened the replacement will be continuous so that what happened you are always rejuvenated you never become older friends let me tell you you never become older the moment you practice this you know meditation and you know the having a the greater consciousness within you and you don't work with the mind you know the kind of mind environment where you picked up a lot of negative things you get into a lot of negative beliefs and negative emotions all these things you are way beyond that you are you are living with the pure consciousness what happens is the age reversal will also happen and the longevity will come and you know what happens in the in the level of dna in your own cell the chromosome level the, the you know the kind of modifications takes place the kind of chemicals chemical reaction the chemical actions takes place such a way that you can reverse the age also that's what what happens is my dear friends so the number you know so many rishis so many yogis if you observe the himalayas and you know elsewhere so what will happen is they are able to reverse the age they are able to live very long time by having the control on the aging okay that means their cells it will especially the cells within our, within our physical body within their physical body is same but what is the environment with which they are controlling the cells what is the environment with which we are controlling the our, our own physical body cells it matters a lot so that's where the difference comes so that's why what i try to suggest you through this session the today's session i would like to so reiterate that your own your own change in consciousness environment your own change in mind environment it is going to it is going to be a highest matter you know of the today's you know current times okay so if you are able to maintain the positive state of consciousness the high state of consciousness the you know the the great the positive the positive mind environment if you are able to maintain your all any kind of disease will be healed by your own physical body you don't need any kind of other support from anywhere for this to do meditation is the best tool my dear friends use it all the times everywhere every time you use this same meditation tool in order to cure the any kind of the disease what you name okay Thank you, thank you, friends.